Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know where to start. I've just seen this movie and it is proper shit. Mark of the Devil. So Mark of the Devil is the latest Spanish movie on Netflix. And it is proper bad, mate. It is. It's proper bad. Full disclaimer, I don't know if this is a remake of another movie. Off the top of my head, I swear there's another movie called Mark of the Devil. But I know I haven't seen it. So I went into this movie totally fresh. Where to begin? Just this movie's so bad. The basic story. This family get this book. And the two sisters read the book. And when one of them reads the book, she gets possessed by a demon. There's also a priest who does drugs, and another guy who's basically Constantine, who's also possessed by a demon. This movie was properly insane, and not in a good way. On paper, this is a movie for me. I like horror films, I like devil, demon movies, possessions, anything like that. I love it. But not this though, this was so bad. I'm just gonna explain one scene in the film, right? And then you're gonna know. You're gonna know how bad the whole hour and 20 minute movie is. Here we go. Both the sisters are in a room and that dodgy priest is there. And the priest is like, show yourself, demon. And the sister stands up. Her eyes go pitch black. You can't see nothing. Total darkness. And she's speaking in some like devil voice with like the worst voice I've ever heard, mate. If I heard that voice, I would be gone, mate. And she says something like, sit down, weak humans. And then the priest guy's like, what's your name, demon? And then the mum and dad return. As they open the door, the sister goes back to normal. So it's like one of those scenes like, oh, no one believes her, whatever. And the daughter's dad looks at the priest and the priest looks at him and he's just seen. He's just seen the most scary thing anyone could ever see. And he looks straight at the dad and with a straight face, he just says, I think your daughter has a problem. I, I can't even say it without laughing. It's so bad. There there's one saving grace in this movie, because I'm, I'm not being funny. I'm going to summarise it right now, mate. The story and characters, they are so dumb. It is beyond insane, mate. That Constantine guy, he's got a beard, long hair. He's got black shoes, black trousers, black shirt, black tie, black blazer, black trench coat, and a black hat. He's standing next to a tree, smoking, and these two gangsters approach you and they're like, give us your money, mate. His eyes go black. He picks up one of them with one hand, bangs his head against the tree, and he's dead, mate. Instantly dead. And the other guy's looking at him and he's just like, this movie was so bad. I cannot believe how bad this movie was, mate. Right, to go back to what I was saying, story, acting, the editing was so bad, mate. It was literally scene faded black. Scene faded black. It's an hour and 20 minutes and you feel it. It's one of the most choppy movies I've ever seen. The only two saving graces of this movie, one of them isn't even intentional, but the one saving grace that I guess is the horror side of things, like the gore side of things, it's rated R, rated 15, whatever. And some of the gory stuff, it's quite nice, I must admit. I did enjoy it, but it's nothing amazing. But it's still pretty decent to see. The gore side of stuff, it looked like they knew what they were doing with that. And the other thing that was the unintentional saving grace, it was so bad, I was laughing, right? I was laughing at multiple scenes. At least I was happy. I'm just going to summarise it right now, mate. Do not see this movie, and I'm going to give... Mark of the Devil, two nerds out of ten. And yeah, the only reason it doesn't get a one out of ten is because I was laughing and some of the gore was pretty good. Don't see this movie. It's proper bad, mate. I cannot believe I got the email from Netflix saying, guess what? Sems, new movie. It's a horror movie. You're going to love it. But yeah, it was absolutely awful. Ladies and gentlemen, stay away. I'll see you all in the next one.